Welcome. Thank you for spending some uh, time with me, either afternoon or morning, wherever you might be. This class is going to be addressing uh, how to execute and how to manage a club release. We're going to go through a couple of things and uh, some good information here. Uh, I'm going to show you two different styles of releases and kind of show you how to manage that process. We always suggest when you're starting a club release, you give yourself at least three weeks of time. So here we are, let's pretend like, you know, we're, we're in real time, it's the 26th. So feasibly, if I'm starting my club release process now, I am looking to release or charge and send those packages out by mid-February. That's what, you know, if I were doing it actually today, we would be shipping these packages out by mid-February. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start to share my screen. And excuse me for one moment, I have to, excuse me. Um, so can everybody see screen? Everything looks good. This should be pretty familiar to you if you've been using Vino Shipper. If not, this is kind of the homepage. This is where all of the magic happens as it will. First thing that I want to go through and remind, we want to take a look at our accounts. We want to look at our email templates. We want to make sure that those are speaking with our voice, speaking with our brand image. So what does our general email look like? What do our club emails look like? Make sure you're going through those because that's communication going from you to your customer through our email servers. So we don't want to miss valuable marketing, marketing opportunities, and we want to make sure that we're communicating with them effectively. So if you have not yet, make sure you go through and take a look at the email templates and everything is up to date. But going back to the homepage, we are going to go ahead and start our club release. So we're gonna go up to clubs. We're gonna to go to our club list. So uh, you might have just the one club, you might have several clubs, uh, whatever you need to do, we wanna choose the club that you're performing the release for. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Winston Winery Club. This is a test environment, of course, so nothing real is actually happening. And I wanna to go to actions, the blue button in the upper right-hand corner, and I want to click on new release. It's gonna take me to a screen uh, that uh, new release for my Winston Winery Club. <laughs> first things first, we wanna give this a name. I like to keep it simple, spring 2023. A release description, this can be um, you know, describing the wines, describing events that are coming up, whatever you want to put in the description, your space to play in. The release date. So the release date, this is the date that you're going to be charging your cards. Okay, that is what the release date is for. We click on that gray field, a calendar pops up. As I said, we wanna give ourselves at least a three week process. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna process all of the cards Friday the 10th. Okay, the pick a date will also be Friday the 10th, but if you want to, you can change that as well. Um, that's the date of your event or the earliest date that members can come pick up their wines. Sometimes that's the same day. Sometimes wineries will give themselves a few days grace to kind of get those packages in order because you have to print the pick slips and then you have to print the shipping labels and box everything accordingly. Give yourself some time. If you have a small pickup base, Maybe that's the same day. If you have a larger pickup base, maybe you want to change that <clears throat> to the next day on Saturday <clears throat> or maybe even the following weekend, uh, the starting the 17th. <clears throat> your call, your business up to you. So for general information, we want the release name, a good description, a release date, and the pickup date. Those are the four items that you start with. We scroll a little further down. Now, the club manager selection, you have to choose something, okay? So this is going to be our club manager selection. This is what I, as the club manager, am choosing for, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> to send out to my club members. This is a quarterly six-bottle club, so I'm going to choose six bottles to send out to my club members. It's spring, so we're starting to think outside again. We're starting to think light. We're starting to think warmth. So I'm going to do a little Sauv Blanc. I'm going to do a rosé because we're starting to release all of our new rosés, hopefully. 
And um, because I like it, a little Zinfandel. So we just click on these boxes next to the wines and we can add the selected products. And you can choose whatever you need to add those selected products. If we make a mistake, like, oh, actually, um, I don't have any South Blanc. I've sold it all and I need to change that. We use the trash can icon to remove it and then add products to add something else or bring it back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Add that product again. Oh, that's not the correct product. There we go. And uh, I said, this is a six bottle club and we only have three wines right now. Well, I can use my cursor or this toggle off to the side to increase the volume. I want two bottles of each, okay? Uh, so we want that. Now I have six wines. Now I have a subtotal, $420. Now discounting, sometimes club, my uh, producers, they do offer club discounts. If you have an automatic discount set up for your club members, that will not roll over into the release. Shopping cart purchases and wine club releases are two separate things in the system. So if you have a discount that you want to set up in your club release, you have to do it every single time, okay? So we go to number three, we click on the big blue button to add the discount. I always set up tiered discounts. I'll go over that uh, a little later on in the presentation, but we're gonna set up a brand new tiered discount. They don't stack and they can be set by quantity or dollar value, not both for the same release. So I'm gonna go ahead. All of my discounts are gonna be triggered by quantity. If they meet a minimum threshold, they get the discount. So quantity. For this first discount, it's my six bottle club. So it's going to be a six bottle <clears throat> minimum order quantity. We're gonna do a percentage discount. And I'm a small, small boutique winery. Uh, I'm not giving away the farm. My discounts aren't going to be over the top extravagant. Uh, and I've already kind of set that up for my club members. They're used to it. They get something. Uh, they don't just get nothing, but it's not going to be over the top. Excuse me. So we're going to do a nice little 10% discount. Shipping discounts, you can also put in that same discount. If you've ever been to any one of my presentations or my classes, you'll know that I don't believe in shipping discounts. They eat away your margin. Uh, you're writing blank checks to your club members. If you did want to put in a shipping discount, you can, not something I'd recommend. But if everything looks good, we have our quantity, we have our percentage, we add the discount, and now our subtotal changes. So we have six bottles, it's a six or more item discount. Now we have $42 off the purchase to $378. You can also, if you would rather not put in a discount, if you want to manipulate the numbers here. So if you want to say flatten out this Zinfandel to $100, you can, and it will not affect the shopping cart. It will only affect this release. For this release, this Zinfandel will be $100. You can scroll a little further down. The price has changed again. You still have 10%, but it's because I took $25 off that Zinfandel price, took $50 off the transaction totally. Packaging. If you have packaging fees, you can have the standard packaging fee applied. You can charge a specific amount, zero being a specific amount as well. Shipping classes, you can choose here. If you have a special summer uh, release <clears throat> that you want to get out to your club members and it's July and it's blazing hot across the country, sometimes uh, my wine club managers will choose a higher shipping rate, not necessary. Um, the hold shipments until. If you're working with a fulfillment uh, center, that's when you're going to be using the hold shipments. If you're doing your own fulfillment, you don't have to worry about that. That's something that is specifically done for our fulfillment houses. So if everything looks good, we have our wines, we have our discount, we have everything else. We're gonna now create the orders. Now, 
If you see the text <clears throat> that popped up when I'm hovering over this button, nothing's going to be charged. No credit cards will be charged. Nobody's going to be notified. We are just creating the potential uh, release orders. That's all that's happening. I'm going to click the button. And that's going to bring me to a brand new page. We call this our club release dashboard. So this is going to have everything I need to control my club release. If you ever have to navigate away from the screen at this point, up until this point, if you navigate away from the screen, you're going to lose everything that you've put into the form thus far. Now we have potential club releases going on. This is a finished product, so to speak. We can navigate away if we needed to. We can come back to that home page. And to get back, we would just click on clubs, releases, and oh, look, there's my spring 2023. I can get right back to it. Now, the next step in this process would be to notify your club members that a shipment is coming. So three-week process, I want to send it right when I make the release right now. I want to send it one more time midweek, reminding them that something's coming. And then the Monday before I charge the cards, I'm going to send that email out one last time. So I'm going to email them right now. This is what the email is going to look like. We see we can manipulate the subject line. We can have a little greeting. Make sure you're utilizing these spaces. Everything comes preloaded, but we have over 2,500 club uh, producers here on the platform. So as much as we would love to customize for you, we just don't have that bandwidth. So make sure it's speaking with your business's voice. <laughs> these emails are going to come with personalized links. So the club information, what club they're in, their billing, and their shipping information is going to be right here. This green button is a personalized link that will take them to their account if they need to update anything for billing or anything for shipping. They can do that from this email. Gives you a conclusion, and then you can select your audience. I click on the blue button. I can select everybody with unpaid orders, which is what I would do for the first time, of course. Uh, only members with orders that fail to process shipment. That's later on in the management process. Everyone in the club, of course, again, only those that have not yet been sent the email. So if you have people that joins, I created the release today. I have new club members that join all over the weekend. I can add them to the release and send them the email because they haven't gotten it yet. Or I can narrow it and select club members from this club to send it specifically to. But I want to send it to everyone. And we send that off, sending four emails. Away we go. Questions so far about anything? All right, Ruby, we're going to come back up to the top of this. <clears throat> we're going to click View Release. So I hit the uh, Email Members. That's how I got to that screen, the second button here in this row of four buttons. Now I want to actually allow customization of my club orders. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to edit the release. Anything that I've changed will stay changed. Anything that hasn't been changed, we can still change as well here. So general, this is all going to stay the same. Products, I'm now actually, I want to let my customers order more. So I'm going to allow for order customizations. We have to give a due date. So if I'm charging the cards on the 10th, I'm going to give them a due date the Monday before. So if they haven't made their customizations by the 6th, they won't be able to. You can put in a minimum order value <clears throat> or an order quantity. Both of these fields are optional. If you're doing a three bottle release, a six bottle release, if you leave that blank, your customer will be able to lower past your threshold. I don't want that to happen. So my minimum order quantity, of course, will be six. I can do this a couple of different ways. If I want, as a club manager, my club members to get the wines that I selected for them, I'm not going to touch this. I'm just going to come down to this big blue button as we scroll down to, on the screen that says Add Optional Product. Click that button. I'm going to open up some of my other 
items for them so that they can choose other items if they wanted to. So I'm gonna add those selected products. We scroll down, they can change quantity. You can impose minimums and maximums on these wines. So let's say that this particular cab, I don't have a lot of. So I wanna say they can't get more than two bottles of that Cabernet. Conversely, if I do want to allow them to change what I already chose for them, I'm gonna click the button that says customer can change quantity, customer can change quantity, customer can change quantity, and I'm going to let them order to their heart's content. If uh, let's say the rosé is very special and we sell out every year and I wanna make sure every one of my club members gets at least one bottle, I can do that as well here. So a lot of different ways to manipulate. And if you needed to, you can exclude certain wines from the discount from here as well. So I scroll a little further down, scrolling down. Discounts. Now I want to incentivize people to purchase cases. I want to go from six bottles to a full 12 bottle case. How am I going to do that? I want to add another discount. I'm going to add another tier discount because they don't stack. So I'm going to say 12 bottles. We're going to give another percentage off and we're going to go ahead and say, we're going to get 15% off if you buy that full case. Shipping discounts, as I said, don't believe in them. But if you did want to use a shipping discount, the one that I can endorse would be a specific dollar discount. No matter how much they order or how much the shipping will cost, you will only ever be on the hook for what you've discounted on that shipping. So if you did want to use that as a marketing tool, I would select a dollar discount. <clears throat> I would say it's per order and you know nothing too extravagant. I'm gonna give them a $5 discount per, uh, per order for their wines. Nothing too crazy. And I can cover all of my classes as well. No matter if they're shipping ground or next day, I'm only on the hook for five bucks of that shipment cost. All right, I'm gonna update that discount. Nothing will change here, of course, because my setup, my club manager selection is for six bottles. And that's what these numbers reflect. If they had to get the 12 bottles, then that would change it within that transaction. We scroll further down, same packing, Packaging and shipping questions, those all still look good. I forgot that we can have uh, gift notes and special instructions as well. Some of my wineries will use special instructions, like if you have <clears throat> a uh, naturally fermented and filtered white wine, the tartar crystals, you want those to settle back to the bottom of the bottle. Give it a week before you open it. Things like that you can include in the instructions. Excuse me. But if everything looks good, we're gonna go ahead and save that again. Once again, no one's notified, no one's card is being charged. We're just saving the changes. We save that. We're back to our uh, club release, plat um, whatever the screen is called, <laughs> my brain. Uh, questions on anything? Groovy. We're gonna click email members once again because now this email has changed now that i've enabled customizations of the orders we still have the same subject line but now we can customize the order we have the greeting what our current order is with the current discounts the additional products you can choose from and once again, a green button that is a personalized link that will take them to their order so they can change that if they like to. Scrolling further down, club information again with another link if they need to update their billing or shipping information. Scrolling down, a conclusion. We can select the audience again. Same options. We're gonna go ahead and all members with unpaid orders. You can also, on the second week, the option that I would choose, I would send this out again to everyone that has not customized their release. 
All right, so we're gonna everybody with unpaid orders right now. Second week, anybody that hasn't customized anything. Okay, and now last sent January 26th. We have these little badges that help you keep track of when did I make this? When did I create it? When did I last email my members? All that good stuff. So now we're in the management mode. We're managing our emails. We're managing our uh, cards. If you know people have expired cards, if they need to update their uh, addresses, all that jazz. Required inventory. This is a very helpful uh, button if you need to, you know, communicate to your warehouse. We have a club run coming up. These are the inventories that you'll need, so on and so forth. Um, you can also, sometimes we have club members that, you know, they're not as tech savvy as they could or should be. So they need a little help in customizing the order. You can do that for them. You would click on the unpaid column. These are all columns that you can click on. And you can change their order. So we click on their name. This is a pickup order. We're going to go ahead and modify it. So we're going to edit the order. They like our choices, but they also want six of our caps. So we're going to add. We're going to change this one to a six. Oops. Well. That doesn't like me. That's a little bug, but never mind that. We'll use the toggle to change it to six. We scroll a little further down. You see now our different discount has kicked in. The spring 2023, 12 or more items that I entered in before. Discount changed. We scroll down. We can override the discounts if we needed to within the transaction as well. We can change the shipping up. We can change the packaging, all that jazz. And because they're not going to be here to pick up, they need it shipped. I'm going to actually ship it out to them. And Bob Beyer has a Seattle address, which is perfect. We can choose the shipping class if they need to. My $5 shipping order has popped up. We can also add access points from here as well. Because we're integrated with the UPS API keys, we have the ability to send the packages to a UPS access point instead of their front door multitude of reasons why our customers need access points. They're not home during the day. Uh, they live in a gated community. That's hard for them to get packages. They live in a high rise that doesn't have a you know reception desk, any number of reasons. The access point will pull from the zip code the nearest UPS store or access point in general. So it's going to give us uh, all of the information. So we're going to go ahead up. Oh, looks like they have a UPS store on Fifth Avenue. We're going to ship it there. All right. If everything else looks good, we're going to go ahead and save this transaction. And now we have a new subtotal and shipping to Seattle. We're going to view the release again. If we take a look at the unpaid column once again, there will be a star next to the name that's actually denoting that the order has been customized. Any questions? All right, we're gonna view the release again. Make sure everything's good. We're going to go ahead. We're gonna pretend that three weeks have passed. We're ready to process all of our payments, process those orders. We're going to click the button process payments. I can't. People are still making changes because I instituted a deadline of uh, the 6th of February. And technically, I'm not supposed to charge my cards until the 10th of February, right? So the system will check you. If you've set things up, it won't let you actually go forward with the action. But that's okay. If, let's say, all the best plans, but our club members have been responsive. We have a small club. We're ready to go. Let's get this done. Let's get these packages out. We can change the dates. We're going to go back to edit release. We're going to change the release date to today, the 26th. 
the deadline has dropped off because it's the same deadline, but I'm going to unclick allow org customizations. Anything that has been customized will stay customized. You do not have to worry about reverting any orders. If you were to push the yellow button within that order that said revert, then the order would revert. But this will not cause any reversion in anything that has been customized. So you can unclick this box. We scroll further down. Discounts are still in place. Everything looks good. We save. And now we're back to this screen. And we can go ahead and click on process payments. So we have our selection. We have our discount. Those all look good. I've confirmed quantities and discount. We have our shipping details. This will not reflect the $5 shipping that I put on 12 bottles because, again, the standard is six bottles. So I've confirmed the shipping class and if I had any discounts. And away we go. Likes to be slow on me, especially when I'm doing classes. All right, we have four problem orders. Oh no, that's my entire club base. So a couple of good things here. You'll get problem orders. It will happen. And they're pretty simple to clear up. Um, sometimes it's because our customers have expired cards. <clears throat> the good news with Vino Shipper <clears throat> is that they've already got an email. They've literally just now gotten an email that said, hey, we can't process your order. Do you need to update some information? That same green link will come through. We can also, because sometimes our club members are not responsive to our club emails, no matter how many times we send them out, we can click on this column and see what is going on. So we have a no card on file ooh, and a compliance violation. Compliance violations, this is actually, uh, we haven't registered the Rosé and the Zinfandel and the Sal Blanc to New Jersey. So unfortunately, Samuel cannot get his shipment. So we're going to have to cancel that order. We're going to go into this. We're going to modify and we're going to cancel the order. And the order is now canceled. We're going to go back to view release. We're going to come back to my problem. So now we have a canceled order. <clears throat> problem. These three, they just don't have a card on file. <clears throat> if they see the email, update their information, they will automatically be cleared from this list and drop back into the unpaid column. Or we can call them up and say, hey, Bob. We need your uh, credit card information. You didn't put that on. Oh, no problem. I click on his order. <clears throat> I click next to his name, view profile. We have no uh, profile or club order problem. All right. We add the card. So this is the profile and credit card. Add the credit card here. My magic development card that lets me buy anything I want to. I wish this was real. Now we have a card on file <clears throat> that's changed that red tag to a yellow tag, which means it's a pending order. I'm going to come back up to clubs. I'm going to come back to releases. We're going to click spring 2023. And oh, look, Bob is now back in my unpaid column. I'm going to process the payments once again. Click confirm. And away we go. Now I have one paid order. Yay. Still have those two problem orders, but again, <clears throat> those can clear themselves or you can clear them by calling your club members, all kinds of different things. Another thing I want to point out <clears throat> if I have already created a club release, and I have not yet closed my club release, and I add a new member, what happens? 
the new club members will not automatically be added to open club releases. They're going to drop into the new members column. I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. I'm going to say, I just came into the tasting room. I joined your club. We add ourselves as a customer. Forgive the glacial speed of my typing and the terribleness of my typing. So we have email, first and last name, date of birth, all important, of course, for compliance reasons, a good phone number. If you assign member numbers, you can as well. <clears throat> if you are in the tasting room and you track who is signing up who, you can put who enrolled this person. The person needs to be in your teams in your Venus Shipper account. If they're not in teams, we can't assign them to that customer. So got to get them their own sign-ins. Then they can keep track of who is signing up who. If you have the API keys for uh, MailChimp enabled with Vino Shipper, you can enable marketing notifications from here as well. If you're not using MailChimp, don't worry about that. You click continue. <clears throat> now we have a basic club profile. We want to add the credit card here as well. And we save. We want to make sure that we have addresses on file as well, but we want to go to first to the club tab. <clears throat> we want to add to the club. If this is a gift, we can make this a gift club as well, but we want to click the available clubs, the Winston Winery Club. Next. Uh, I can say it's a ship order or pickup. I want to ship. So we have our name again, our home phone number, then we enter in the street address and the zip code. And we add the address. UPS is always going to make sure that we have the most accurate address humanly possible. <clears throat> so we can confirm the address. And it just a few changes and it will automatically populate the full nine digits of code, which is kind of nice. So I always, as much as I can, like to use their suggestion. We're going to use that. My favorite corner store here in Sacramento. And we confirm the selection. and add to the club. And now we have an address and we have a new club. Everything looks good, right? We're gonna come back to the uh, to the uh, menu bar, click on clubs, click on releases, click on our release once again. And now you see, oh, I have a new member order. So I wanna click on new member. Everything looks good. I add to the release here, or if I have several uh, new members, I can add all the members to this club release. I add that, I view it again. It's now dropped me in the unpaid column. I can now process the payments. So if that's all looking good, I don't need to make any changes. I'm gonna process that, click these again, and away we go. And it's as simple as that. Questions? Anything so far? Groovy. Canceled orders. You can always uncancel the order if you need to, if they change their mind, or if we got our uh, label registration for New Jersey back up, we can uncancel the order and reprocess. If the order has been paid for, let's pretend that. Bob actually is not going to be getting his order shipped. He actually, he's going to be in town. He's going to be able to pick up his order. Um, so he needs to change it back. We can do that as well. As long as you have not sent that package out the door, we can still change the order. We're going to click on the order. We're going to click on the order number. We're going to also click modify order. Winston Winery, this particular account, is set up 
as a fulfillment house. So at the end of the day, all of these orders are going to be uploaded to our fulfillment house. Once that happens, I will no longer be able to modify my orders from this end. Uh, if you're doing your own fulfillment, if you have printed the shipping label, the modify order, the only thing that will pop up is cancel shipping label. Okay, so if you wanted to change the order and you've already printed the shipping label, you still can cancel the shipping label and then this menu will pop back up. Okay, so we want to change the shipping here. So right now I'm shipping this to that access point, the UPS store, right? Uh, that all looks good. Oh, and I need to do something real quick. If you're a pickup uh, place, you should already have this enabled. I'm going to allow for pickup orders. I'm going to save those options. We're going to come back to releases. Pay no attention to man behind the curtain. Sorry about that. Going to come back to Bob's order. We're going to modify the order. We're going to change the shipping. And they're going to actually pick up now. So the, the destination, the customer will, will pick up. Next, there's no packaging fees that we charge. Oh, and now we're going to pick up sales tax changes. They're going to, going to get a refund and we're going to apply that to the card they paid with. We refund. And now the order will change. It'll be an A order, same order number, but A. That denotes that we changed something from our end and everything looks good. We come back clubs, we come back to releases and we come back to this and now everything looks good. Any questions on any of that process? Managing the club post release, we also say, give it three weeks to manage these problem orders to make sure everything that's canceled stays canceled. After you're done, after the last package has left the winery, after you know that all the pickup orders have been processed, we can close the release. So closing the release, all that's going to happen, anything that might be an unpaid or new member or problem, I close it, I close it, it just gets moved to the canceled column. That's all. If you need to reopen the release, we can reopen the release. We go back to the canceled bar, uncancel those pickup orders that we needed to. And now they're back in the unpaid column. But that's pretty much the process. Any questions whatsoever that I can help, anything specific to your needs that I can help with? Um. Uh, that all made sense to me. Good. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Very pretty cool. straightforward. We don't like some, too many surprises here at Vino Shipper. We try to keep the buttons, the buttons. Well, thanks so much for spending some time in the afternoon for you folks with me. Please reach out to customer service at vinoshipper.com if you have any questions whatsoever. We are here for you seven days a week. Okay. Wonderful. Great. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.